Good evening, good people. This is Tanika Nikki. Just wanted to take some time to point out some of the suspicious things that have recently been pointed out in the uh, Kanika Jenkins case as far as the evidence seen is concerned. You see that package? That package there. That is where the gentleman in the hat got his package. That is the second camera it comes to... Uh, has come to light recently that camera right there is the first camera that was pulled from the scene before those gentlemen got there this is another piece of evidence evidence I don't know as far as um, it being something you know that was taken from the scene however this is the white piece of tissue paper that she had in her hand, which proves that whatever it is that they took out of those freezers was not the white item Kanika was carrying, nor is it a cell phone or any other the, of the rumors that's been circulating. That's tissue. This scene, or this particular image that was blowed up by um, the... Rosemont Police Department is very disturbing. If you look at the front of Kanika, you notice that she's um, come undone in the front a bit. If I'm not mistaken, that's her breast area hanging out. And although although we do know that Kanika Jenkins wasn't small busted, her bikini top didn't have her hanging out like that. Although it could be that it's out that way because she was bumping into stuff and, you know, jerking about to the point where she just came undone, in a sense. So, I wonder why none of the other footage shows her breast out in any of it. You know, she's pretty much covered uh, decently as far as the way she was dressed for that party that night. She was, you know, she was pretty much covered. You couldn't see her breast like that. So, that bothers me because it makes me think, are we uh, looking for her to be raped in that freezer? Or are we looking for, are we looking, this something happened before she ended up in that freezer, basically. So this picture disturbed me the most in regards to the hallway footage because this shows her undone, you know? So if she's walking around undone that way with all the uh, activity that we now found out has been going on in that hotel as far as people were everywhere in that hotel, not just Kanika wandering around that hotel with no other uh, awake individuals around or functioning individual, individuals around. So if she was walking around like that, anybody could have saw her and taken advantage, you know? So, yeah, that's one of the pieces of things I wanted to point out. Also... That in her hand. She was actually in the kitchen with something in her hand. At least that's what the footage from Rosemont is pointing out. Let me see if I can go back just a touch. Well, it ain't quite let me go back the way I wanted to. Not sure exactly why. Hmm. Not exactly sure why. Maybe I click it back. Let's find out. Well, I was trying to basically point out the fact that although she has something in her hand that is small and white, we do know from that previous stuff that I showed you guys that um, Kanika had a piece of white tissue in her hand. Now, where did it go? Since she did head towards the freezer area with that tissue in her hand, who knows? But... The white items that we saw were not um, the cameras that we saw get pulled out from um, two separate um, screen sections or footage sections. Now, this picture, since it's been sitting here for a second now, oh, it did take it back all late. <laughs> I tell you what, this picture right here is basically to point out the fact that if you guys don't notice, what's missing from this footage? I'm going to hold on a minute to give you guys a chance to go over this piece of 
simple footage, the the picture that's been rotating around YouTube for the longest time. What's missing? All right, I'll tell you exactly what's missing. Let me let it play. That's what's missing. If you notice from that first photo, there was nothing there. I noticed that before, but I don't know. I thought maybe in the tossing and turning or whatever happened to her in that freezer that it was white. What I'm saying is it wasn't there when they initially um, discovered her, but all of a sudden it's there in a piece of footage after the discovery. You know what I mean? As the body sat there for a while is basically where I'm getting at. And for me, those are the most uh, question, questionable uh, pieces of footage that I've seen. There's also a piece of footage that I point out, pointed out yesterday, uh, the two bags coming out of the freezer. That's where you see that separate second camera that I pointed out in this footage. That's where that second camera comes out. Actually, that's the first camera. We see the uh, mortuary uh, gentleman and his assistant uh, with a plastic bag that resembles a camera, which actually is a camera. But we didn't see this second camera or first camera. That camera that came out in those brown bags was the very first camera removed from the scene before the mortuary uh, gentleman got there and before the um, gurneys and so forth went into the uh, freezer with Kanika. So I just wanted to point out some stuff. You know, just pointing out some stuff. I hope it's helpful. I hope um, you guys actually take some time to review the actual footage so you can point out for yourself the things I'm highlighting. Um, as you see, I have made me a little slideshow to kind of go along with my commentary this time because going live so much is annoying. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, this is Tanika Nikki, just signing out, y'all. And I'll tune in uh, when I find something else. Uh, peace and blessings and all that good stuff. Till next time. Peace.